Don't worry, Hugzilla. I won't let the man get you. What? The man? I'm not the man. Oh, yeah? That's what the man always says. I'm stopping this now. No! Run, Hugzilla! Run! Yeah. Principal shouts a lot is coming. Good morning. <gasps> I knew it! You're all superheroes, and you used to be Captain Fantastic! Principal shouts a lot. You cannot tell anyone, or I will have to eliminate you. You can't stop me. Because I'm a cybernetic organism, living tissue over metal endoskeleton. Principal Bolt! Uh, oh, thank goodness it was only a dream, Lulu. Oh, oh was it? <laughs> no! I hate double nightmares. Today we are going on an all-day filled trip. Are we going to the moon? The center of the Earth? To Never Never Land? Oz? Narnia? Yoknapadafa County? New York? Broadway? Please say it's Broadway. No, we're going to a rock quarry. Yay! Awesome! Huh? They used to mine for rocks and sand here. But now, it's the Outdoor Super K training area. Where are the bathrooms, Mr. Arnold? Out here, nature is your bathroom. Now, someday you may have to fight a monster. So today we will practice that. When I was Captain Fantastic, I fought a lot of monsters. Did you beat all of them? What do you think? I'm going to beat you, Captain Fantastic. This game is not over. Checkmate. Mr. Arnold? Did you have to buy them? Did you go to the monster store? How much do monsters cost? Did you get them on Amazon or eBay? No, the monsters are here already. But where are the monsters? Right there. Then we'll draw a monster for you to battle. Let's start with Pedro. You have to use your brain as well as your muscles, Pedro. Superpowers mean nothing without technique. Try tricking it to look away. Hey, monster! <coughs> look! Free hot fudge sundaes! <coughs> Good work, Pedro. Jackson. Fly around in a circle and make it dizzy. Uh, 
Paddy, stretch out like a rope and tie him up. What should I draw now, Mr. Arnold? Draw a net. Hi, I'm Annette. I like to read. Wanna play? No, not a person named Annette. A net like you catch a fish with. Sorry. Uh, bye. I didn't know Link could make people. That's awesome. And a little creepy. Um, help. Try sticking the monster's hand and feet to his body so he can't move. <laughs> Okay, Billy, you're next. Um, Lynn, can you draw a new monster that's not too monstery? <laughs> Hello. Oh, he's so cute. He is not cute. He is a monster. It's time to fight. But I don't want to fight him. But you need to practice. That is why we are here. But he's so cuddly looking. I want to give him a big hug. What? <laughs> Billy, we don't hug monsters. But he's so soft like a big teddy bear. I could hug him all day. That would be weird. I'm going to name him. Hugzilla. We are not naming our monsters. You, Hugzilla. Me, Billy. Hugzilla, Billy. Hugzilla, do you want to play blocks with me? I can make blocks. Watch. Blocks. We can make a house or a fort. <gasps> Or a theater! We could do a Broadway show! <laughs> we are supposed to be fighting monsters, not doing Broadway shows. Hugzilla, we could do Wicked or Addy or Phantom at the Opera. I could be the Phantom and you could be the Opera. Lynn, draw a chandelier and a lot of smoke. No, wait. Let's do Les Mis. Okay, miserable French people, defend the barricade. Why does Billy have a French flag in his pocket? Uh -huh. Billy, you have to stop right now. Wait, Hugzilla, I got a better idea. Let's do the biggest show around, Hamilton. Hamilton? Yeah. It's got rap songs, and a war, and a duel, and debates about the national banking system. Do hammer top! Do hammer top! Places! Opening number! Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and pow does! Stop! You cannot do that! Why not, Mr. Arnold? Because you have to get permission to sing songs from the people who wrote the musicals and pay them money. In this case, a man named Lynn Manuel Miranda. But Hugzilla really wants to do Hamilton. Ah, Billy, you've wasted all your time. We have to go back to school now. Then erase the monster. What? But I don't want Hugzilla to go. Go? Billy, it has to go back on the pad. He's not an it. He's Hugzilla. No, I won't let you do it! Billy, this is the last time I will ask. Don't worry, Hugzilla. I won't let the man get you. What? The man? I'm not the man. Oh, yeah? That's what the man always says. I'm stopping this now. No! <laughs> Run, Hugzilla! Run! <laughs> He's fast. 
He could be in the Olympics and win a gold medal. Hogzilla, go enter the Olympics! Mr. Arnold, can monsters be in the Olympics? Uh, no, they can't. We have to stop the monster before it gets to the city. Put on your Super K outfits and get to the chopper! The chopper? I think it's another word for helicopter. But we didn't come here in a helicopter. <sighs> My mistake. Get to the SUV! This sound is good. Yay! Ready, Rangers? With Cartoon Channel, you can explore new worlds without leaving where you are. That's so cool! And it's free. Discover favorite characters and brand new shows in one place. Cartoon Channel. Download now. We're the Super K's! <laughs> Superhero Kindergarten! If we're lucky, we can stop the monster before anyone sees him. Godzilla won't hurt anybody. He's all about peace and love and understanding. Maybe, but people don't know that. They would just see a monster. There it is. We can catch it. Um, Mr. Arnold, I have to go to the bathroom. What? Now? Well, in about 10 seconds. <sighs> a superhero always goes before he goes. Superhero Kindergarten. Breaking news, a monster is on the loose, headed towards City Park. But we here at Greenville Super News want you to be afraid! Panic, yell, scream, and run around like crazy people. It makes for exciting television, and we want to stay your number one rated news program! Oh, oh I love every creature on the planet. It doesn't matter what they look like. No, no, no. You know some uh, uh, from Hamilton? What? What? Oh, what is that ugly, hideous, grotesque-looking thing? Wipe it off the face of the earth! Destroy it now! Jackson, are you done yet? Um, almost. Ah, this never happens to Superman or Batman or Iron Man. Okay, Mr. Arnold, let's go. Wait. I forgot to wash my hands. Or oh, Wonder Woman, or Spider-Man, or Thor. Actually, it did happen to Thor in the comic book Mighty Thor issue 175, Hammer of the Babysitter. Hey, has anyone ever said you look like Captain Fantastic? No. Hurry up, Jackson. Emma, my love, will you marry me? It's the third woman that's done that to me. The monster is at the city park. We're only two minutes away. Mr. Arnold, I have to go to the bathroom. Why didn't you go when Jackson went? I didn't have to go then. I want to say a very bad word now. Excelsior! Get your ice cold Excelsior! Now with extra sugar, more caffeine, and 27 artificial additives. What in the name of... Look! It's the Super Kings! And that tall, handsome, muscular man who was always with them! Destroy that monster! He's not a monster! Kid, if you looked up monster in the dictionary, You'd see a picture of him. Let's see if that's actually true. Marvel, musicals, monster. Yep, he's right. He's gonna destroy that sculpture! No, he won't. He just wants to be loved. Ah. <sighs> Don't we all, kiddo? I've proposed to three women. Okay, Rookie. There's the monster. 
Let's cuff them, take them in, and lock them up in a dark, damn, dirty hole and throw away the key. What about his right to a lawyer and a fair trial by a jury of his peers? <laughs> Find me 12 monsters and we'll talk. He's not a monster, officer. Hug, 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 hug. That is a monster, kid. Look at the way he walks and moves and holds his arms out. Just like Frankenstein. Excuse me. Frankenstein is the name of the doctor who creates the monster. The monster actually has no name. Nobody cares, nerd. Let's get him, rookie. No! You're scaring him! <laughs> Ooh, ooh! The monster's climbing the Harryhausen building! Crawl the jets in! I've seen this movie before. It doesn't end well for the monster. We've got to stop him before he disconnects any of the Wi-Fi cables, satellite dishes, and antennas! If people can't watch TV, we'll have a riot on our hands! Super Case, listen up. Jackson, make him dizzy. Patty, tie him up. Pedro, use brawn and brain. Vic, stick him. Lynn, draw him. Wait, Mr. Arnold, I should do it. It's my fault he's up there. I'm sorry. Billy, you have a new superpower. The power of admitting you're wrong. Officers, let this five-year-old boy in a mask and tights talk to the monster. That makes total sense to me. Hugzilla, you need to come down. You're scaring the people. They think you might do something bad. But I know you won't. Please, Hugzilla, won't anything make you come down? I have a crazy idea, but it just might work. Hello, this is Pulitzer Prize winner Lin-Manuel Miranda, composer of the hit musical Hamilton, three-time Tony Award winner, first-generation immigrant, and all-around awesome guy. Did I mention I won the Pulitzer Prize? Yes, you did. This is Arnold Armstrong. I'm a kindergarten teacher. I need your help getting a monster off a building at Greenville City Park. You got it, Carrillo. Teachers rule. On my way. Vanessa, I'll be back in an hour. If I win any more awards, text me. Hugzilla! This is a guy who wrote Hamilton! He says we can do the whole show if you come down! Well, not the whole show. That takes two hours and 55 minutes with intermission. Cut the intermission. No. Then I can't sell t-shirts, posters, and hats. Let's just do a medley. <laughs> Okay, I'll play Hamilton, Aaron Burr, Jefferson, Washington, and the other major parts. You two play everybody else. Oh no! Hugzilla's starting to fade away. Mr. Arnold, I don't want Hugzilla to go. I know, Billy, but sometimes we have to say goodbye to people, or in this case, monsters. But you always have them in your heart. Billy. My drawings don't last. That's just the way life is, Billy. Nothing lasts forever. What about the pyramids? They're still here. True, the pyramids are still here, but... And the Colosseum in Rome? Yes, the pyramids and the Colosseum are here. And Stonehenge in England. Correct. The pyramids, the Colosseum, and Stonehenge are still here, but... Ooh, ooh, and the Grand Canyon. And those tools in Kenya, Africa, they just discovered that are over three million years old. And my grandpa's still around. He's really old. And Hamilton is going to run forever. Okay, okay. Some things last a long time. But unfortunately, Lynn's drawings do not. Goodbye, Hugzilla. I'll never forget you. 
Goodbye, Hugzilla. I'm sorry I thought that you were a monster and that you didn't get to perform Hamilton. Mm. Mm. Goodbye, Dewey. I'll be back. Okay, Billy? No. Would a hug make you feel better? Um, maybe. Thank you, Mr. Arnold. I feel better. Sarge, are you crying? Yeah, I'm not afraid to express my emotions. I'm a cop. I'm not a machine. If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? Hey, does anybody want to hear the opening number for my brand new top secret musical? Yes! yes! No! It's about Levi Spear Parmley. In 1815, in New Orleans, he invented dental floss. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, check it. Something stuck in my teeth and it's making me mad If I could get it out, I wouldn't be sad I wish I had some string I could use on my gums To get some relief before a hurricane comes How can I raise the roof When I'm stuck in these chains caught a pain in my tooth? I'm gonna advocate, I'm gonna conversate I'm done with mustard peas and applesauce I got dental floss So, Hugzilla wasn't an evil monster after all so you shouldn't have gone crazy. You told him to go crazy. Shush. And now, back to our movie, Captain Fantastic meets the Snail Woman. Shush Garage! Pedals to the metal, racing down the highway. Got a party or a problem, you can call us anytime. Hey. And Diesel is the strongest, Go. Klausi is the fastest. Go. Grunk is sweet and happy and is smiling Woo. all the time. It's Shush Garage! It's Shaq's Garage! Oh! It's Shaq's Garage! Hey! I am Shaq. Welcome to my Shaq Pack. Check out Shaq's Garage, part of Cartoon Channel. standing right next to us. What's the matter, Pedro? We're playing hide and seek, and I couldn't find Patty, Veek, and Billy. And I said come out, and they won't come out. Veek, Patty, Billy, come out. Recess is almost over.
get sucked up into a spaceship. I knew that would happen someday. Um, guys, we're going into outer space. Oh, we've been abducted by aliens. Who are you? Where are you taking us? And will there be snacks and drinks and videos to watch on the way? Welcome to the Starship Space Liner, with non-stop service to the planet Kreblak. Are you a good alien or a bad alien? Please say good alien. This is a recording. I wonder if they're gonna do experiments on us. <gasps> Maybe they're gonna eat us. I don't want to get eaten. What do you think they taste like? Chicken, hot dogs, pancakes? Mm. Um, they might be nice aliens and we'll have fun. Ugh! Deek! Are you kidding me? In practically every single alien movie, they drool on you and eat you and try to kill you! That is true. 85.5% of aliens in movies are evil. Ah! Superhero Kindergarten! They are not here. Everyone inside. We need to find them under Tracker 9000. We will be landing soon. Please fasten your seatbelts and return tray tables to upright position. We know you have a choice when being abducted by aliens, and we thank you for choosing Space Liner Spaceships. We didn't choose you! That was a joke, Patty. They are in the Andromeda Galaxy, landing on an unknown planet. Do you think aliens took them? It is possible, but we will find them and bring them back safely. Jackson, turn on our holograms in case Principal Shalzalat pays us a visit. Turning on! <sighs> Mr. Arnold, how are we going to go to space? Well, I was saving this for a surprise. <laughs> the Super K Space Shuttle. Greetings, Earthlings. I am Kahili. Don't eat us. We taste super yucky. If you eat us, you'll throw up and poop for days. I promise I am not going to eat you. Why did you capture us? <laughs> capture you? No, no, no. You are three lucky little Earthlings. We are? <laughs> yes. You were personally selected from over seven billion people to appear on my fabulous TV show, Aliens, Gok, Talent. What? Where do I sign? I send spaceships around the galaxy collecting contestants for my show. You will get to perform with the chance to win big prizes. Perform prizes. You will each do an individual act of your choosing. The audience and I will rate you, and then we see who wins. Okay. And then we can go home? <laughs> it's showtime! 
We land on planet Kreblach in five minutes. Wow! I can't believe we traveled one million light miles that fast! I set the speedometer to artistic license. Ladies and gentlemen, Bardros, Manchus, Prefops, Plaftongs, and Gong Greeks, it's time for Aliens Got Talent! And here's your host, put your hands, feelers, claws, tentacles, and pictures together for Cow! Good evening. Tonight we have three very special contestants from a little planet called Earth. But before we meet them, let's see how last week's final contestant, B. Alistock, did singing that old favorite, I want to wrap my tentacles around you and squeeze you until you pop. <laughs> Now, let's see B's scores. Oh, oh dear, three X's. Looks like B has to go to the black hole of doom. Do you think the black hole of doom is a bad place? Uh, yes. <laughs> Well, now, studio audience, and our friends watching at home, what do we say? Goodbye, B! Man, that really hurt! But I'm still alive, so it's not that bad. Wait, what is that big, ugly thing coming towards me? No! There will be a memorial service for B tomorrow at noon. In lieu of flowers, please send donations to the Kahili Foundation. Now, let's bring on tonight's contestants. Patty, Billy, and Vic. I wouldn't believe it. Unless you enjoy going through laser beams that will cut you in half. Yeah. My planet, my show, my rules. Now, let's see what prize we have tonight for our winners. It's an all-expense-paid weekend at the Grover Spa and Resort. Enjoy swimming pools, hot tubs, tasty snacks and beverages, and be totally pampered. Ooh, I want to be totally pampered. Billy, if we lose, it's the black hole of doom. Ready, Rangers? With Cartoon Channel. You can explore new worlds without leaving where you are. That's so cool! And it's free. Discover favorite characters and brand new shows in one place. Cartoon Channel. Download now. If we lose, it's the black hole of doom! What am I gonna do for my act? You can stretch all over the place and bounce around, and Billy can make blocks. And sing 254 show tunes. All I can do is... Stick. We are an invisible boat, so they won't see our ship. Vic, Paddy, and Billy are inside that building. Here's our first contestant. Give it up for... Billy!
one shall pass without a ticket. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, here are our tickets, sir. My name is Veek, and I stick. Um, ta-da! Now, let's see all of our contestants' scores. How did Billy do? How did Patty do? And how did Veek do? Oh my, no one's ever gotten three gold stars. Veek is our winner! What? And they booed for Veek. Yes, precisely. On this planet, yay means horrible and boo means amazing. And we love sticky things. So, Veek, you have won the weekend at the spa and Patty and Billy are going to the black hole of doom. Good night, Patty and Billy. Got to get through those laser beams or turn them off and rescue them. Superhero Kindergarten! Does that sound like somebody bringing us ice cream and cookies? No, Billy. and the show get eaten? No, I guess not. Wait, are we the two best characters in the show? Yeah, I'm a strong, fierce, smart, empowered, multicultural girl. And you're a boy who's sensitive and likes Broadway musicals. We're totally winning Emmys. <laughs> I hate that fighter. said he wouldn't need us. How are we going to get out of here? Mr. Arnold always says, our greatest and most powerful superpower is our brains. We got to think of something. Right. Uh... I got nothing. Hey, I bet Mr. Arnold and Lynn and Pedro and Jackson are going to come rescue us. But what if they don't? What if we have to live in here forever? We could put up curtains. Blue or green? Billy, I'm not gonna live inside a stinky old monster. Oh, uh, excuse me. I am not a stinky old monster. I take a bath every day and oh. I... Uh, sorry? Hey, why'd you eat us? That's my job. I have to eat anything that falls in the black hole of doom. Do you like doing that? Honestly, I don't. I wanted to be on the show, but Kahili said no. He wouldn't even let me audition. I'd probably fail anyway. He said I didn't have star quality. <laughs> of course you have star quality. 
I do? Yeah. I got an idea. Get us out of here so I can tell you. Okay. But it's pretty disgusting. Uh, you don't want to see this. Our teacher, Mr. Arnold, tells us not to be afraid to fail and don't listen to people who say no. You need to go up on stage and stand up to Kahili. Oh, no, I couldn't do that. I'd be afraid. You? Afraid? But you're a big, fat, giant, scary monster who needs major dental work. No offense. I... I... I wouldn't know what to say to him or how to say it. I can never find the right words. If I knew what to say, maybe I could, but... Don't worry. I'll tell you exactly what to say. Look, some surprise visitors from Earth. Come on stage and perform. Lasers off! We're here to rescue our friends. Release Paddy and Billy from the Black Hole of Doom. Sorry, that's not part of the show. Laser cage! And now you all need to take a little trip to the Black Hole of Doom. What the? Hey, Mr. Arnold! Let our teacher and friends out! I'm afraid that is not going to happen. <laughs> That's what? What are you doing up here? Get back in your hole! Um... No. How dare you defy me? You do not belong up here on this stage. Go! <laughs> what was I supposed to say? Remember, you're gonna be great at singing along in the creatures. <coughs> and I'm telling you, I am not going. Don't rain on my parade! I dreamed a dream. I'm defying gravity. I am not throwing away my shot. I have confidence in me, Oklahoma! <sighs> Yay! Yay! <sighs> Good heavens! What got into you? Broadway musicals. <sighs> what can they do? Thanks to you two for encouraging me to stand up to Kahili. Our teacher, Mr. Arnold, taught us that. You are an excellent teacher. Thank you. Can you turn off the laser cage so none of us gets cut in half? <gasps> oh, right. Sorry. Uh, turn off laser cage. <laughs> I'm very glad you're all okay. Thanks for coming. How'd you get here? We've got the space shuttle now. Awesome. Wow. And that means you can come back and visit. <laughs> hey, are we still live on TV right now? We are. Well, Zazbot, now you get to finally perform. Hey, what do you do anyway? I do interpretive dance. Da, la, la, da, 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 da. <laughs> with Cartoon Channel, there's something for everyone. Yay! You can make the world a safer place with Rainbow Rangers. We did it! Sing along with super simple songs and have a watch party with the whole family. <laughs> Discover new places and new faces and go on a gaming adventure with KC Play Mix. GG! <laughs> Best of all, it's safe, fun, and free. Awesome! Catch up with old friends like Dr. Seuss and make new ones in Stan Lee's Superhero Kindergarten, all in one place. Download Cartoon Channel. That's Cartoon with a K. It's 
a surprise. Tell us! <laughs> if I tell you, it wouldn't be a surprise. Everybody chant. That works sometimes. Tell us! 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 Your chants are powerless against me. <laughs> Don't worry. You will find out soon. The suspense is terrible! I hope it will last. That's from the movie Willy Wonka. The good one or the bad one? Ah! No, that is a line that I wrote from a play called The Importance of Being Earnest. Mr. Arnold, there's a man hanging on the side of the bus. Is he the surprise? No, that is the ghost of Oscar Wilde, a famous Irish writer. Hey, Oscar, we don't have time for you right now. Give us one more brilliant quote and disappear. <sighs> Very well. Be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. Um, can you give us a hint or a clue where we're going, Mr. Arnold? Okay, I will give you one clue. Look at the windows on the left. Yes, my friend Mr. Ferguson is going to take us up. Does the balloon have seatbelts and parachutes and helmets? Don't worry, Billy. You will be safe. This is Mr. Ferguson, our balloon pilot. Freeze! Why are you so wild and crazy? You're acting like barbarians. And trust me, I know a barbarian when I see one. Sorry, Mr. Arnold. Well, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. A strong wind is a-blowing. It's not safe to take the balloon up. Oh, no, no fear. I know you're disappointed. Me too. Oh, I'm not. Now we don't have to go up in the balloon and have it crash or explode or take us to a deserted... Whoa, stop, Billy. Spoiler alert. Disappointments happen in life. You have to learn how to make the best of a bad situation. And sometimes good things happen because bad things happen. Like the sinking of the Titanic that improved boat safety? Yes. And the Black Death Plague. 200 million people died, but land was plentiful, wages increased. I would not use that example. Or the Cold War with Russia, which led to the space race, and NASA invented the joystick, 3D graphics, and laptops, which led to video games. Cool. Can we tell Russia we want another Cold War? Hey, would you kids like to get into the basket while we wait to see if the wind dies down? Yeah! Get in, Billy. We're not going anywhere. Can you take our picture, Mr. Arnold? Our parents can post it on social media. And all their friends will be jealous because we're doing cool stuff and they're living lives of quiet desperation. I can't see Billy. He's hiding in the bottom of the basket. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm admiring the beautiful craftsmanship of the floor. Stand up so I can see you, Billy. OK, everyone say, Austria is awesome. Austria is awesome. Hey, 
Watch it, Billy! Superhero right now. And uh, not looking forward to falling either. Vultures. We could eat those guys. Are you serious? Yeah. I've always been curious about what people taste like. Oh, man, I would never eat a person. You would if you were hungry enough. I'd eat you if I was hungry enough. Oh, sometimes I feel like I don't even know who you are anymore. Dude, come on. Blue Jays, crows, gulls, and roadrunners eat other birds. What? The guy that goes beep beep eats other birds? Yeah. Man, I hope that coyote gets him. I do. Superhero kindergarten. Land on it. We don't know how to make the balloon go down. Maybe we just turn this off? That worked.
dream? Or are we really stranded on an island in the middle of nowhere? Lost? Marooned? Castaways? Ow! All of the above. Oh, we're stuck on this island. Welcome to my Shack Pack. Check out Shack's Garage, part of Cartoon Channel. What are we gonna do? Let's go swimming! Pedro, we can't have any fun. This is a very dramatic situation. Oh, come on, Billy. You know Mr. Arnold will come and rescue us. Yeah, but how's he gonna find us? He can turn all those tracking GPS things they put inside our bodies. Uh-uh, not anymore. The Superhero Civil Liberties Union made them take those out. When did they do that? Last week when we were napping. I woke up just after they took mine out. Are there any animals or big scary beasts that are gonna eat us? Or who are those people that eat people? You mean cannibals? Hey, are there any cannibals on this island? We're good. Hey, maybe I can draw a new balloon on my pad so we can fly home. I don't want to go home now. We're on our very own island. No grown-ups, we can do anything we want. Swim, surf, explore. And get eaten by a big scary beast. Hey, where is my pad? Do you think it fell in the water when we crashed? I don't know. I thought I saw it over here, but it's gone. Uh, maybe the scary beast that lives on this island that's gonna eat us took it. Okay, we have to get food and water. Jackson, fly around the island and check it out. I'm on it. If you see any big scary beast, don't tell them we're here. Billy, can you make some blocks into like a shelter or a shack in case we have to spend the night? I can try. How's that? Good. I'm gonna get some food. Island. I didn't see anybody. We're totally alone. Um, I saw a movie once where a bunch of kids were alone on an island and they all went wild and crazy. Really? That sounds cool. Awesome! Wait, we gotta make a plan and figure out what we're gonna do and not go wild and crazy and turn into barbarians. Okay? Let's go on a hunt! Yeah! What are we gonna hunt? Each other! Whoa! Easy, Pedro and Jackson! Chill! Hey! Look! Footprints! Somebody else is on the island! The hunt is on! We gotta go find them! No! We should just stay here and sing songs! Who knows all 27 verses to Kumbaya? I do! Kumbaya! Billy! We gotta find who made those footprints. Maybe they can help us. Maybe they took my pad. We could get it back so we can go home. Lynn's right. You coming, Billy? No way. Okay, stay here on the beach by yourself, all alone with nobody. I'm only coming because of peer pressure. He's gone! Don't worry. We will find them. 
Luckily, after the Superhero Civil Liberties Union took their tracking devices out, I secretly put them back in. Why didn't we land on an island with friendly talking monkeys or cute little birds that sing and dance? <laughs> Because we're not in a cartoon, Billy. It feels like we are sometimes. In fact, it feels that way all the stuff. We gotta go in that cave. No, we don't. There's a beast in there. Maybe two beasts. If he's married, and if they have kids, there might be a whole army of baby beasts. Billy, you're being ridiculous. Even if there was a beast, we can buy them. We're the super kids. Let's go. Yeah, great. Why do you have a monocle in your pocket? Sometimes I like to pretend I'm a man from England. I say, old chaps, we should not venture forth into that cave under any circumstance. Mr. Arnold would say, good job. You guys would have done the same for me. Pay no attention to the man working this puppet. The beast isn't real. Who are you? Are you in that band my grandpa likes, ZZ Top? No, my name is Robin Caruso. Master Puppeteer, sorry I scared you. I thought you were going to steal my treasure. We're not treasure stealers. Good. Twelve years ago, I was performing on a cruise ship. I fell overboard with this puppet and floated to this island. But how did you fly and make blocks and stretch like that? Have I finally gone crazy? No, we're the super case. We have superpowers. 
But you can't tell anybody. Who am I going to tell? We're all stranded on this island forever. No, we aren't. I can get us all home. What happened here? You were only gone for 30 minutes. Sorry, we all became barbarians. And we found a castaway. His name is Mr. Caruso. Nice to meet you. I'm Arnold. Ah, I'm so glad you're all safe. It was like you said, Mr. Arnold. We were really disappointed we couldn't go on the balloon ride, but then we ended up having a much bigger, funner, awesome adventure. Oh, and he has pirate treasure. Hmm, that looks familiar. I'm afraid I have some bad news. That is not real treasure. What are you talking about? This is a prop from the movie Captain Fantastic and the Pirate's Curse. Arnold Schwarzenegger, the star, left it here as a joke. If I ever meet Schwarzenegger, he will regret it. I will warn him. But actually, I think things may work out very well for you. At today's Memories of Hollywood auction, a treasure chest from Captain Fantastic and the Pirate's Curse sold for one million dollars. Ready, Rangers? With Cartoon Channel, you can explore new worlds without leaving where you are. That's so cool! And it's free. Discover favorite characters and brand new shows in one place. Cartoon Channel. Download now.